All right, thanks, Rick. That's right. Well, the snow has already started to fall, and folks in Bucks County are gearing up for the next big blast of winter. That's right. And Jocelyn Mose is on Route 313 off of Route 309 in Quakertown. Jocelyn, what are, what are the conditions like there? I see it coming down. It is coming down, although it is pretty light at this point. As you mentioned, we are right along Route 313, just off Route 309 in Quakertown. Now, this area is typically pretty heavily traveled. We are seeing a number of cars out on the roadways this morning. No doubt that will change as the day wears on and this storm gets worse. As for the roadways, as Rick mentioned, they are wet at this point, do seem to be in pretty good shape for the most part. I'm staying at a hotel a couple of miles from here and really had no problems at all getting to our live shot location this morning. Now, since we've been out here since about 4.30 this morning, I have seen a couple of PennDOT road crews come by. They've been salting both Route 313 and Route 309, trying to stay ahead of this storm. But again, as I mentioned, this does seem to be a pretty heavily traveled area. There are a number of businesses in this area, and for the most part, the ones that would normally be open at this hour do seem to be open now. But again, seems to be business as usual here in Quakertown. No doubt people are going out, stocking up on those groceries and that gas this morning, waiting for this storm to get worse. Reporting live from Quakertown, Jocelyn Moe, 69 News. All right. Thanks, Thanks Jocelyn. Jocelyn. They are in for quite a challenge. Yes, they are. Let's head out to Berks County now and check in with Melissa Fullerton on Penn Avenue and West Reading to see what it's like out there so far. Melissa. Well, actually, guys, we are on 2nd and Court Streets here in Reading. We had a little trouble over on Penn Avenue. So we came back to our studio here in downtown Reading, and the snow is definitely flying and has picked up a little bit since we got in at around 4 or 5 o'clock this morning. It was just light flakes. Now we're starting to see those bigger flakes falling. But if you want to take a look over here at 2nd Street, the roads are just kind of wet. So it's kind of one of those, the early bird may get the easier commute today. The road's just wet. I came in on 422. Those were just wet when I was driving in, but like I said, the snow is starting to pick up just a little bit. But the city is starting to come alive at this point. We are seeing a lot of traffic going through. So at this point, it doesn't really seem like people are stopping for the storm. We are not seeing the uh, the dead streets we saw during the last storm when there was lots of snow on the ground. And I want to look over here. I'm going to throw a, a curveball at my photographer, Bill. I didn't tell him this before, but I want you to take a look at that curb right there. I had an emotional moment with the curb outside of my house this morning as I was leaving. Um, I haven't seen it for several, several days, and it's finally melted. The snow has melted from the last storm, and I can see the curb, and I'm starting to fear that maybe we will not see these curbs again for a few days. You know, I heard John talking about uh, Groundhog Day there earlier, and I had my own little pop culture reference to this snowstorm as I was driving in this morning. You guys know that song, Here I Go Again on My Own. Yeah, yeah. You know that I song? Like your I had changed going. it, and I was singing, Here I Go Again in the Snow. So I'm thinking that maybe we can make that the unofficial theme song. Yes. So, isn't that White Snake, yes. by the way? Yeah, I think so. From like the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. Melissa, you're, you're dating I yourself. <laughs> I love the 80s. I love things. Well, now, you and know. I'm sorry for the singing. I can't <laughs> sing like you. No, keep doing your do re mis, and we'll toss to you occasionally as our theme song of the morning. And, and no, I'm ready. No more emotional. I'll go warm up. No more emotional moments with curbs. That makes me nervous. <laughs> no, but don't you miss your curbs? I haven't been I do, I do miss, on the street I do miss my lawn. Yeah, I do. I hope your yeah, neighbors weren't lawn. watching. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I said I hope your neighbors weren't watching as you were getting all emotional with I had a little moment with the curve, but yeah. I'm okay now. I'm moving past it. All right, well. A tender moment, always nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, th I think the, the moments are few to see those curves. I bet they'll be covered That's up soon, right. as you mentioned. They'll be back by Memorial Day, don't worry. Yes. I'm hoping. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Melissa. Melissa. That sounds like a broken record, but we're getting ready for yet another winter storm. <laughs> Yes, we are. That's right. <laughs> Heavy snow and high winds are sure to make a mess of things out there today and tomorrow. Yeah, we continue our live team coverage now in Berks County, where Melissa Fullerton is standing by in downtown Reading. Good morning once again, Melissa. Good morning, and I feel like maybe there are some people at home saying, I wish John didn't sound so happy about <laughs> saying there's another winter happy. storm. I know people we talk to here in Berks County I'll put a frown on a it bit now. of enough. <laughs> but uh, we are getting some snow here in downtown Reading this morning, and it's, it's definitely a wet snow at this point. You can kind of hear it as it plops onto the ground, and it's definitely sticking. You can probably see on my hat how it's just kind of sticking to you at this point this morning. I want to give you a look up Court Street. The road's just wet at this point, nothing really sticking on the roadway. 
roadways. Cars are starting to get a little bit of a coating. And if you look up there, there's a gentleman shoveling, trying to clean up some of the old snow to make way for some of the new snow that's coming in today. But at this point, traffic is moving at a pretty decent pace. No one's really slowing down. The city's starting to come alive, like we said before. So um, I was checking some websites, the county website, um, some of the bus schedules, things like that. At this point, during the last storm, we had seen those starting to shut down. At this point, everything seems to be open or planning to open as far as county offices. Um, the Bieber buses have not canceled their service at this point. I've seen a Bieber bus go through. Um, BARTA buses are still running as far as we know at this point. So things pretty normal right now that could change throughout the day. But right now things are just kind of wet and some nice heavy flurries coming down here in downtown Reading. So we'll check back in with you guys in just a little bit and uh, we'll give you an update then. I'm going to tone it down now. I'm going to sound a little, maybe a little angry. How's that, <laughs> Melissa? Is that, is that better? Okay. I'm sorry? I said I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to sound, sound angry or sad now instead of happy. That's right. <laughs> people, are, people are pointing their fingers at you saying, stop that's that. That's right. Although, you know, when you're at home on a day like this, it's fun. A snow day is fun. That is, that's true. Oh, absolutely. When you're outside like Melissa all morning, that's an all day. That's not fun. Then it's not we, fun. we get a little bitter. We're trying not to be, you know, Debbie Downers out here, my right. photographer Bill and I, but, you know, it makes you a little bitter sometimes. It does. Well, so far, so rough. good, right? <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, Thanks so. Melissa. Well, it is time now to check in with our roving reporter to get a firsthand look at what it's like out there on the road. That's right. The FMZ's Jackie. Jackie Ferris is joining us from the 69 News Snow Patrol truck. And Jackie, where are you? You're someplace in Allentown. Uh, well, we are driving down uh, 4th Street. We're going north. Uh, I got to tell you, Melissa was talking about how uh, Here I Go Again is her theme song. I think ours should be taking it to the streets with the Doobie Brothers. I want to tell you a little bit about the situation we have rigged up to show you what the streets look like. We are in what we call Truck 7 at 69 News. And if you've never seen the inside of a live truck, well, there you go. It's a basically a portable television studio. Now for this show, what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera right here. I hope you can see it. And we're going to show you what the road conditions look like. And of course, my partner in crime today is photojournalist Joel Williams, everybody. But let's go ahead and take a look at the roads right now. Joel, if you want to go ahead and just hook on over there. Basically, what we're seeing is the roads are pretty wet right now. We've got some really thick, fluffy flakes coming down, but it's not actually... Um, uh, cold enough for it to be sticking, so we've got a lot of moisture, we get a little bit of puddling on the side. We are seeing some accumulation on the sides of the roads and on the sidewalks, but it looks like so far as we travel down 4th Street in Allentown that things look pretty good. Now, we're going to be driving around all morning to try to give you an idea of what everything looks like, so stay with us. Back to you guys. All right, pretty all right, cool thanks out a lot, there. Jackie. Well, our region. Good afternoon. I'm Wendy Davis. And I'm Rob Vaughn. And the snow is falling. In this case, over Easton, PA. That's right. We're looking at a live picture right now of the free bridge in Easton. You can see the flurries coming down, traffic moving, which is a good sign. The roads wet for the most part throughout this part of the area anyway. We hear yep. some of the northern parts getting a little more snow and sticking up there. In fact, I just read a couple of notes on Facebook there where folks are saying seven inches in some spots and still shoveling. Mm. So it is it is sticking yeah. in some spots. Yep, some of us have already done some shoveling as the snow comes down. Mm -hmm. It's uh, been swirling around as some of us drove through it this afternoon. It was kind of like being inside a snow globe. Yeah. You know, the effect of yeah, we're having exactly. that shaking around and the flakes were going every which way. That is True. But as we go farther into the night and those winds pick up, yeah. it's, it's going to be a little tricky out there. And the roads will get trickier and trickier, no that doubt. That is what we're being told. It is that nice uh, wet snow. So yeah. it is sticking to the branches and the grass. So it does look pretty when you're driving around and you're looking at the trees. But that could all change yeah. as well. So let's get right over to the Weather Center. And Ed Hanna has been monitoring this all day long, Ed. Thanks so much. Yeah, we've been watching it, talking to Matt. I want to tip my hat to Matt Broderick, taking you through the morning hours, of course. Uh, but uh, certainly we have been consulting, talking, as we always do as a team, to bring you the freshest team coverage here. Our team of meteorologists really just constantly around the clock, keeping a close eye. Now, here's what I want to tell you right off the bat, is that we are just, and really the best way to describe this, this storm, 
what we've received so far, and it's mostly you guys in the north and eastern parts of our area, this storm is sort of just yawning. That's the best way to describe it. At this point, it's just at the early phases of the storm. Few folks have sent a couple of emails saying, what's happening? Has the storm fizzled? Has it missed us? And for those folks, I would say, send me an email tomorrow and let me know what you think. Because the fact is, the core of this storm, the strongest snows, the strongest winds haven't even gotten here yet. We're just getting started. And as this storm really winds up, pressures are just dropping. Uh, this storm is really going to be a major player. And we've been telling you the winds are going to really differentiate this storm from other snowstorms that we've seen. As you can clearly see, winter storm warning in effect for all counties until noon tomorrow, but the wind advisory in effect until 1 o'clock. That's something to be aware of. Let's get over. Can we switch over to the Galileo? I want to switch over to the Galileo to be able to talk about what we've got going on there. And there you go. Be able to get some sense here of what we're dealing with. Temperatures throughout the region. Let me get back over here. Galileo. Temperatures throughout the region where it's the coldest air. And what's going to happen is this storm is remarkable in the sense that oftentimes most of our prevailing winds and prevailing storms move from west to east, this storm is going to actually retrograde back through our area and move from east back through our viewing area, all the while drawing colder air down from the northwest while it's throwing moisture off of the Atlantic Ocean. So that's that combination. And you know, what's really wacky is oftentimes storm systems, you deal with a storm system like this, New England oftentimes gets hammered with lots and lots of snow. They're getting windswept rain and they're gonna be talking about flooding there while we're gonna be dealing with lots and lots of snow. So these temperatures above freezing, it's the month of February. Once you get in the end of February, that high angle of incidence, yesterday was 40 degrees. We still have some chemicals on the roadways. It's very hard for snow to stick during the day unless it's coming down real hard and unless temperatures at the surface are at at least mid-20s. Didn't have that today. So we have three to five, four to six, four to seven inch amounts in the north and eastern parts of our area, mainly on grassy surfaces, yet the roadway, roadway is remaining wet. All that said, we are getting some reports from the northern tier counties where we're seeing these 20s, it's starting to stick. And as the sun sets, as we get into the evening hours, we're going to see treacherous travel really develop. And I'm going to tell you, if it hasn't already started, you're, it's just going to start to pick up. And I'm thinking between 6 and 8, 6 and 7 o'clock, somewhere in that time frame, the heaviest snow, it is just going to pick up and it's going to be near blizzard conditions through the evening, overnight hours, and into the first part. So I think the strongest, the most strongest snow, the strongest winds, we're going to be talking about from this evening from like 6 to 9 until tomorrow, probably 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. That's when we're most concerned. I do think up along the I-80, 80, 81, 84 corridors, it's, it would be shocking to me if they don't close at some point because up there that's going to be talking about 1 to 2 feet and some places could be in excess of 24 inches. The winds, look at this, in the teens, just a small taste of what's to come. We're going to be talking about gusts much higher than that. You can see wind gusts already now 25. You can see the Doppler radar, that more Moisture. Some of these bands now rotating back. It's filling into the west, exactly what we thought. The moisture is just going to come back off the Atlantic. And so what you see to the north and east, that's heading in our direction. We'll give you more details, of course, as we go throughout the evening hours. Again, northeastern parts of our area have gotten the snow. Western parts, not so much. But we're just getting started. The heaviest activity, strongest winds tonight into tomorrow morning. Guys, back over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Ed. Thank you, Ed. All right. Ed says we're sort of in the yawn. The storm, the storm is kind of yawning right yeah. now. Let's go out to the streets and see how it is as we're in a yawning period. Things are going to get much worse, but our Bo Colt now is out there in our 69U Snow Patrol truck, and I guess uh, we hear you're on uh, Lehigh Street in Allentown right now. How's it looking, Bo? That's right, Rob. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to swip the flitch. Swip the. F I'm, I'm going to turn the camera on right now is what I want to say. And you guys can see that Lehigh Street, we're headed towards Allentown Center City. And great news, the roads are clear. You can see that traffic is moving at a normal pace here at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But as Ed was just saying, you know, this could easily change because we are in the calm before the storm. But so far, so good. We haven't hit any major snow banks or anything like that. We have seen some salt trucks out on the road, which is great news because, you know, four, five, six o'clock at night, this definitely becomes a heavily congested area as people are heading home from work. So at least right now, the only thing people will have to battle 
is the traffic, not major snow buildup. But again, that could change. And Robin, Wendy, one thing really neat about this roving camera is that we can go all over the area with this and show you guys exactly what the roads are like as we see them. And in about 45 minutes, guys, we're going to be on 78. And we all know what that was like the last time there was a major storm. So you guys want to stay tuned for that. Robin, Wendy. Yeah, look like look like you're about to approach the uh, dunk, one of my favorite Dunkin' Donuts, so you might want to swerve off into there soon. But we won't uh, tell you what to do, Bo. Just go go about your business. Oh, and I I, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm not driving. I'm in the back seat of the car. Understood. Good to know. <laughs> All right. I at Second and Court Streets in Reading, just outside our Brooks Edition uh, Bureau. There, Pam. Looks like the wind's picking up a little bit. Yep, Rob and Wendy, actually the wind is picking up. I'm not wearing a hat so that you can actually see the wind. Um, the snow that's coming down is actually a light, fluffy snow, so it doesn't hurt. It's not stinging. It's not like sleet or anything like that. But as um, everyone else has been saying, it's not laying to the ground. If you take a look at here, traffic, as far as up down here to 2nd Street onto Penn Street, there's not really um, any problems for drivers at this moment. Now, one thing that we are noticing is that because there was no school today, uh, that there aren't, uh, there's not around this time, you might have some school buses, that sort of thing. Um, but most of the schools in our area were canceled. Now, I did speak to some Wyoming High School students who told me that they're at the point now with school days that uh, now that they are missing them, they're going to have to start having them at the end in the summer. So they're not looking forward to that. But uh, a lot of them right now are just enjoying staying inside. Uh, it is it's not super cold yet, but the wind is definitely picking up, like Ed was saying. And uh, it's not quite cold enough for it to stick to the ground, but it, it is blowing. And one other thing that we are also hearing, I mean, lots of people are just preparing for the storm and what's to come. Uh, in West Reading, we're also being told that uh, they're not going to be picking up trash tomorrow. And as we hear those different sort of announcements, we'll be sure to pass those along. Reporting live in Reading, Pam Cunningham, 69 News. All right. Thanks, Pam. Talk to you later, Pam. Although the uh, roads were, that's on Route 313, just off of 309 in Quakertown in Bucks County. How are things looking in Quakertown this afternoon? Stephanie? Well, Rob, it actually sounds a lot like um, the roads everywhere else. I mean, it's a little bit slick. It's coming down, but there's a lot of traffic. As you can see, Route 313 and 309 are both very busy roads. This is a very busy intersection, and it's no different today. Um, I haven't really seen anyone slipping or anything like that. But one thing that you should watch out for is the wind. Um, we have a little bit of video. If we could go to that, I'll show you exactly what I mean. The wind is blowing at such an angle that, in some cases, it's starting to build up on signs and traffic lights. So you want to be extremely cautious. We watched somebody accidentally blow right through a red light. Uh, thankfully, nothing happened. But the video that you're looking at is on Cherry Street in 309. Be extremely, extremely cautious. Just because the roads aren't too bad and you're hearing all of us say that it's not bad yet doesn't mean that there aren't dangers out there. So, um, you know, have your guard up and, and just be very cautious while you drive. But as for right now, the shopping centers are busy. There's still lots of cars out here. There's a lot of, a lot of people on the road. Um, and things are looking good here in Quakertown. So live in Quakertown, Stephanie Esposito, 69 News. All right. All right. So far, so good. Yes. That will change. That's right. Next We're going to head east now. Jackie Shutak is standing by on Northampton Street in Easton. Tell us what it looks like there right now, Jackie. Well, Wendy, right on cue, the winds just picked up as soon as you guys tossed to me. Uh, the winds are really picking up all of a sudden. You can see the snow blowing in sideways, thick, fluffy flakes of snow. I'll, let me tell you, first of all, what I'm wearing. It's not super freezing outside that you need 100 layers on. I just, I have actually this these rain pants, this raincoat, a couple of layers of fleece underneath the raincoat. So I'm not freezing. I have some pretty thin gloves on. I know it's going to get a lot worse later on, and I won't chance it. I'll put on a lot more layers. But at this point in time, the snow is not sticking too much. The streets are still pretty slick out here. You can see that there are some stores that have opened for today. Some are closed. You can see baby gift clouds, for example, for one over there, closed off in the distance. Um, and at this point in time, the only snow that's really sticking here is on top of the snow that's already been here for the past several weeks. A huge problem that I'm sure a lot of homeowners are facing is the fact that so much snow accumulated over the past few weeks has weighed down a lot of these plants here. I don't know what this is going to look like when all the snow melts, but this plant, this is uh, this bush here is really uh, weighed down by a lot of the snow from several storms. At this point, a little bit of accumulation. I, I would guesstimate that it's probably about an inch, an inch and a half, but that's the only snow that's sticking, only on top of snow that has already fallen out here. So we took I-78 to get out, out here to Easton, and that was pretty 
pretty manageable about an hour or so ago. Uh, 78 was pretty manageable, but the wind's starting to pick up. Snowflakes feel like they're getting a little bit heavier out here, and at this point, the roads are still slick, Robin Wendy. That's the story from Easton. All righty. Thank you very much. Uh, wet roads all over the place. Yeah, that's and for sure. And so far, I've now at, uh, I guess, Union Boulevard and Airport Road in Allentown. Mark, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, this is the kind of snow that I like, the, the kind that sticks to uh, the grassy surfaces and your cars and the trees. It makes it look real pretty outside. First, the roadways go, though. Here in Allentown, they are just wet at this point, and that's what we've been seeing all morning um, is at this location is just wet conditions. You can see some of the side roads. They're wet as well. Uh, so no major problems here as far as the roadways go, but as Ed's been mentioning and as Ron Young mentioned earlier, that they do expect things to worsen as the uh, evening progresses and as we move through the overnight period. So we do expect this to uh, change as we move through the overnight period tonight, but right now you can see traffic moving fine. It is, uh, it is good that the schools were off today so that uh, the road crews could get out and, and do some extra salting in some locations because there is a little bit of salt on the roadways here on Union Boulevard. But um, like I said, for the most part, the snow is coming down here. It's coming down pretty slow. The wind did pick up for a little bit, but it has slowed down since. And so now we're just dealing with this uh, snow coming down at a pretty good clip. It's not really sticking, though, like I said, to the sidewalks and to the roadway. So that's the situation here in Allentown, live at the Wawa at the corner of Airport Road and Union Boulevard. I'm WFMZ meteorologist Mark Schanenberger back inside to you guys. Much some more. That's right. So let's see what it looks like in Quakertown right now. Stephanie Esposito standing by at Route 309 and 313 in Quakertown. Stephanie. Wendy, this is one of those spots where it is coming down. I've been on Route 309 and 313 all day, driving up and down 309, and there hasn't really been much of a change until now. As you can see, the snow is completely sticking to the roads. Um, it's... It, this wasn't something that we were seeing for most of the day, but now, as you can see, it's completely covered in white, especially in parking lots and on roads less traveled. Um, but it's amazing what a, a difference just a few miles south can make. I know that other reporters in other areas are saying they're not seeing this. It is really coming down here. And in addition to the snow, we've got the wind as well, which is exactly what Ed predicted. This is exactly what he knew was coming, and it is here. So get ready, Lehigh Valley. It looks like this is the beginning of what Ed predicted is going to take place all through the night and into the morning. Be extremely cautious. Um, don't go out if you don't have to. And if you do have to go out, just be careful on these roads. As you can see, it's really sticking now. Cars are starting to slide. We're starting to see all the telltale signs of a really bad snowstorm. So stay safe, stay safe out there tonight. Reporting in Quakertown, Stephanie Esposito, 69 News. All right. Good. That continues now with the 69 News Snow Patrol. That's right. WFMZ's Bill Colt now is manning the Snow Patrol truck tonight. He is live on MacArthur Road in Whitehall Township, Lehigh County, Bow. Wendy, you guys can hear me, but you can't see me because I am in the driver's seat. The passenger being our Snow Patrol camera, and we are on MacArthur Road in Whitehall Township, heading towards Allentown, a little up from the Lehigh Valley Mall, and you can see that traffic is extremely light, but one thing that Ed was saying especially are the wind gusts and the snow is starting to uh, stick to the ground. I have noticed that within the past hour, but especially the wind gusts. In the past few hours, guys, I've been all over the Lehigh Valley driving around, and one area where I really noticed the blowing snow, the blowing wind, is on 22, especially heading east near Airport Road. There is some accumulation in that area, and I did see a, a minor accident um, at the uh, on-ramp uh, on Airport Road there, so definitely that is something to consider. And I've also noticed the, the wind gusts and the snow sticking to the ground on many side streets. But here along MacArthur Road, as you guys can see, things are moving well. Traffic is going, but the driving is getting progressively worse, and I have noticed that over the past hour or so. So if you do have to go out tonight, guys, be very, very careful. I don't know if you can see it now, but you can actually see where the snow is starting to stick here on MacArthur Road. Robin, Wendy? We, uh, we can now make that elbow, yep. So we got to be careful out there. Tap your brakes, buddy. Hey, thanks. Okay. <laughs> We'll see you later. Oh, cold now in the uh, in the uh, snow patrol snow truck. Patrol. And of course, as Ed was pointing out, even as Bo was speaking, that the Whitehall area is one of the uh, lesser amounts right. for tonight. If you head just due east a few miles toward the eastern area, you're getting up to the eight and nine inches. Mm -hmm. And where'd you say Pocono Summit? 
19 inches? 19 inches yep, already. As of 917, yep. And wow. one hour ago. Summit this evening. We'll be tracking those road conditions as the night goes on. But uh, in the meantime, PennDOT has already gotten the jump on keeping the highway safe. That's right. Around 1 o'clock this afternoon, PennDOT reduced the speed limit on several interstates down to 45 miles per hour. You can see the list right here. And we just learned that the speed limit on I-78 in Berks County has been reduced to 45 miles per hour as well. Officials of the Pennsylvania Turnpike have also reduced the speed limit on the northeast extension from the mid-county tolls to Clark Summit. And there are some changes for those of you who rely on city buses to get around. That's right. Atlanta cut its service at 8 o'clock tonight, so no buses are running out there right now. But that didn't stop our own Mark Schannenberger from catching a ride a little earlier tonight. Yep, he is live in Allentown now with more on that. Mark? Yeah, guys, since the traffic around here was moving normal this afternoon and this evening, we hopped on Atlanta bus to see how their wheels were going around. How you doing? The word for most Atlanta riders was it was business as usual today. They're pretty much on, on schedule, yeah, even though the weather the way it is, you know, I'm, I'm surprised how it is. We're just moving a little slow, but that's that's normal for out here. Today, like the day, is not, it's not all that bad. But that was all about to change. You know about the star line service for tonight, right? What's that? Oh, it has an eight. Even though that may have meant a change to their schedules, riders seem to understand. That's the high to me. Well, actually, I'm kind of kind of okay with that because I'm on my way home now from work. Hey, guys, and uh, with the conditions worsening, the winds picking up, the snow starting to stick on the roadways, home is the best place to be headed. Now, Atlanta Bus once again has stopped its service through the overnight period, so bus stops like this one will be empty for the rest of the overnight period. And for the very latest on when they will resume scheduling, you can log on to atlantabus.com or check us out. Stay tuned to WFMZ. And, guys, even as conditions worsen, I know you guys are miles away in much better conditions. I feel like you've always been out here in the elements with us. Live from Allentown, I'm WFMZ meteorologist Mark Schanenberger. Back inside to you guys. We're there in spirit, Mark, yeah. with you. So we can hang around with Mark. Yeah, that's right. Snow. Yeah, there you go. It feels a little chillier now seeing seeing yeah. us out there next to you, Mark. It wasn't sticking on the roads earlier as a result of that. That's right. But that's changing. Uh -huh. And Pam Cunningham is live in Exeter, and we can see what the wind is doing out there now, Pam. Yeah, Wendy and Rob, it is very, very windy. I have no idea how fast it is, but I'm trying to stand up straight and I'm putting all my weight into it. So that I feel like I'm standing on a bus that's moving, you know, when you're trying to balance yourself. Now, this storm, as you were saying, it was coming all day long, but it wasn't really so bad earlier on. So that didn't slow down businesses on, in West Reading. The pagoda on Mount Penn may be difficult to see from West Reading, but that snow wasn't blocking the sidewalks or some hungry customers. We wanted to come out to dinner, and uh, yeah, we didn't let it interfere with our plans. But at Bistro 614, she was one of the few. We rely on our reservations, and walk-ins is a big part of our business as well. So when they call for big snowstorms, a lot of people just tend to not show up. Snow can hurt a business's bottom line, but some customers watch and wait. Yeah, the roads are fine, so I think people still ventured out and uh, and came in. Uh, unlike the last snowstorm where, you know, we definitely felt an impact uh, before Valentine's Day. After two big snows, people know how to prepare. That was the case at the Yarn Gallery. We were very busy yesterday. Everybody came in and got projects to tide them over through the snowstorm. And today, not so busy. This time they preempted it. As soon as they heard snow, they called us right away. What is your plan? We ended up staying later. We worked extra days. We worked extra hours. And we just worked around it. And on the fringe, they say in some ways, they are snowproof. I'm lucky. I don't have to wait for people to come in and buy stuff. I know they're coming. So I try to help them. They worked around today, but what will happen is still a question. We were going to have snow due on Thursday. Well, as it turned out, we moved all our Thursday people to Friday. <laughs> Now, in West Reading, they've already declared a snow emergency for tomorrow, which basically means that cars can't park on Penn Avenue, which is where all those businesses are. Now, some of them have small parking lots in the back, so they're still debating about whether or not they'll open up tomorrow. Now, obviously, in this parking lot here in Exeter Commons, the snow is coming down really, really hard. It's sticking to the ground here in this parking lot because I don't think it's been treated. Now, I'm actually looking at 422 and... Uh, 
it's not necessarily sticking to the roads, but it is very, very windy, and there are drifts of snow, so I'm just, and also it's coming down a lot heavier than it was earlier, so I'm not sure exactly how much or how fast it's going to be here in the morning. Reporting live out in Exeter Township, Pam Cunningham, 69 News. All right, thanks, Pam. Run for cover. Well, as we mentioned, the speed limit has uh, been dropped on I-78. It is now 45 miles per hour there, and officials also closed the section of the Fleetwood Lions Road in Richmond Township tonight. We're told that it is closed between Oak Haven and School Roads. Around 9 o'clock, PennDOT crews started putting up the roadblocks. PennDOT is urging you to stay off the roads if possible. No doubt that's due to drifting snow out there in that area. Mm. Hadn't seen